If you've ever wondered what someone brand new to self-publishing can earn with little to no experience, stick around to the end of this video and I'm going to tell you my story as well as what I think is possible for you today. I got introduced to the concept of making money online and internet marketing when I was quite young. I was only 14 or 15 and I was training in a gym and there was this father and son bodybuilding team. These massive guys which, I mean, we're probably on a lot of steroids now that I think about it, but they would always be at the gym at like noon or, you know, 1 p.m. And eventually kind of got the courage to ask them. I was like, hey, don't you guys have to work? Like, you know, how are you here all the time? They told me that they were internet marketers. And this is the first time I'd ever heard of something like this, but I didn't know that them just saying these few words was going to change the whole trajectory of my life. But they told me we do internet marketing and so i was like okay like what's that and slowly but surely i would see them at the gym and the dad would give me a little bit of advice he'd be like okay you know walmart if you go down to the bottom of that website there's going to be a link that says affiliate he's like just scroll down there click on it and read it so this is the first time i'd heard of affiliate marketing and you know, people making money off the internet. It's not like it is today where you have limitless information. You just go on YouTube, you can find out anything about any business. This was basically non-existent. So fast forward, years go by, I dabble in different things. Some of them make a tiny bit of money, but it's mainly failures. And then one day I'm in Australia, kind of doing the backpacking thing. I ended up staying for a while and I see a podcast for Empire Flippers. And this is the first time I'd heard of Empire Flippers, but one of the co-hosts talks about uploading books on Amazon. And I thought, hmm, this sounds like something I could do. So I listened to a bit more of the podcast and I started searching around. And this is when I found out about Amazon KDP. So the first course that I came across was by Stephen James. And any of these like OG self-publishers, people have been doing this for years, they all probably started with this course. The course wasn't very good. It was really around making kind of spammy Kindle books and it was kind of the wild west of Amazon KDP. Things were still very early, so you could make money that way. But this is how I got started. I wouldn't recommend if that course is still around to get into it now, sorry, Stefan, but it is just, it's not up to date. I was going through one of the groups and I seen a guy posting these huge royalty dashboards and I'd reached out to him and he said he did coaching and I ended up paying around three or 400 bucks a session to get coaching from him. And I got little to no value out of this. It almost felt like I was being scolded instead of, you know, paying for knowledge. While I was doing this coaching, I was also watching videos on YouTube. And this is when I came across the Mickelson twins and their information in the videos to me was a lot better. Like these free videos was better than what I was getting for these coaching sessions. And I brought it up to this guy and he was kind of saying like, yeah, don't believe what you see on YouTube. So at that point I knew I was done with that. And I started learning from the Mickelson twins and just, you know, soaking up their free content. So going through this free content by the Mickelson twins and I was learning and implementing things at that time, I was probably only making 50 or a hundred dollars a month. And my goal when I hired the coach was to make 400 USD a month. And to me at that time, that was huge. I was like on top of my job, I made an extra 400 USD. And I was in Australia at the time. So it was like almost double, but I felt like I would have been rich. It's funny how your goals change and that number will get a lot higher once you start working on this stuff. But anyways, I would go through their content and my income started to increase. All of a sudden, you know, I was making like a thousand dollars a month implementing the free stuff that I learned. I was putting out things like cookbooks, cookbooks on topics that had little to no competition and nobody running ads for them. So I could run an ad at like five cents and I was making sales off that. So it was very set and forget. And I was starting to create these little streams. And the Mickelson twins really got me to kind of embrace audio as well. So I was publishing these books on audio, but what I was doing back then was what we called the shotgun method, which is basically you're not building a brand. You're just firing different kinds of books all over the place, hoping that something sticks. And some of them did stick, but if I built a brand around them, I would have been way, way further ahead. Also during this time, 
ACX would give you codes to redeem for reviews and they would pay you for the codes as if the, you had actually sold a book. So this was really getting abused. People would get a VA to redeem all the codes and then they would keep all the royalties. So obviously Amazon shut this down really quick, but there is a lot of people kind of playing in this loophole for a while, making good money when they really shouldn't have been. I would love to be able to give you a screen capture and show you my exact numbers and how things progressed, but I kind of have to go from memory because I ended up selling that business for six figures. But we went from 50 to 100 to 1,000. Fast forward a little further, I continue learning and I got into AIA at the time. And my income started going up, three, four, 5,000. And then eventually I ended up peaking around $10,000 a month. And there was a little bit of expenses and it depended on the time of the year. But this big like mess of books that a shotgun still turned into a six figure yearly income. And that just shows you the power of publishing. I could do almost everything wrong, but I kept learning and kept publishing and things eventually accumulated. 80, 20 took effect. 20% of those books did a lot of the lifting. And then the other 80%, there was so many of them that they made small amounts and combined it turned into a big amount. So as of today, I think the opportunity for you getting into self-publishing is far greater than the opportunity that I had when I started. All the information is there. They have courses, there's free stuff on YouTube that is so detailed, tells you everything that you need to know. And you know, you're not starting in the dark and you know making a bunch of books that have no potential to make money. Because if you even know a little bit of this stuff, your book quality is gonna be high enough to you know make some regular royalties, even if you don't hit like a big winner on the first book that you publish, you'll still do well. And also the markets are so much bigger. Although there is other publishers coming into the space, a lot of people publish a book or two and then they're done. They, they quit, they move on to something else, even if they are making some money. So if you think about these different countries that are getting Amazon warehouses and Amazon's becoming a regular thing for them, like it is for you know myself in North America, as shipping improves and you know they get the two or three or the one day, more and more people come into the system. So I would argue there's way more people that have joined Amazon since I've started as buyers than there is people providing books to them. The keys to your success are sticking to one thing. Take a course or learn on YouTube and stick with it. Don't deviate, don't go into some other thing and get shiny object syndrome. This is the opportunity you're looking for. You just have to stick to it like glue. Secondly, build a brand. Don't do what I did and shotgun random things. If you're gonna create a book, try and make sure there is five or 10 other books to make on the same subject. You know, what's gonna happen is that someone's gonna come in and buy your book on, you know, drumming, and then they're gonna buy the beginner one and the intermediate and the expert. And then, you know, the next thing on gear, so you're trying to just follow the whole life cycle of the buyer and have them buy all your books. So this just makes it so much easier, not just selling one book and then they're done with you. They might buy multiple books for you. So the average customer is worth more than 10 or $15 to you. They might be worth $100 or more. And the other key thing is the speed of your implementation. So once you start learning, be it in a course or through YouTube, take that information and put it to work for you right away. Because a lot of people will learn a bit, get excited, and they never publish a book. So how are you going to make any royalties if you don't publish a book? Get a book out, get two out, get three out, and you'll start to see results and you'll learn much faster. And you'll start to see royalties come back in from that and you'll be excited and you'll do more work. And if you have some extra money lying around, it's going to make this process so much easier. You're going to be able to outsource amazing covers, pay for ghostwriters, and have some budget for advertising once you get to that. And it's gonna allow you to expand your business much quicker. I don't want you to think that just because you don't have much money that you can't succeed at this. You 100% can, because I didn't start with much money at all. I was worried when I put out a book that you know I wouldn't be able to put out another one for another like three or four months. So I felt like every book had to be like perfect. But the fact of the matter is what we have now, you can publish almost for free. It's just gonna take a little more grit and determination to get started. I think a realistic goal for someone new 
and determine that has a little bit of time and money on their hands is to hit somewhere between three or 4,000 within the first six months and then start hitting the 10,000 mark about a year in. And this isn't gonna be everyone. And I know some people that blow these numbers out of the water, but I think these are just reasonable and plausible targets that you will hit if you stick with this and do everything you should be doing. These numbers, of course, are gonna vary for different people, but I think these are extremely realistic targets to hit. If you focus on this one thing, you have a little bit of money to invest. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below and I'll get back to you right away.